Namaskar. Welcome to Yog Path. In this video, we are going to explain how yog can help in relieving your lower back pain. Back pain has become one of the most common ailments suffered by people these days. Due to long sedentary hours and lack of physical exercises, people have become more prone to the back pain, especially the lower back pain problem. But yog here comes as a rescue and it can cure and also prevent your back pain problem which can lead to many other ailments. So in this video we are going to focus how regular practice of yoga and done in a proper way yoga can be very helpful in relieving your back pain. So let us start with some yogic sukshma vyayam. Let's start with Yogic Sukshma Vyayam. To begin with, we will do Kati Shakti Vikasak Vyayam. Stand straight with feet together and hands by your sides. Now, making fist of your left hand, place it at your lower back and hold your left wrist with your right hand. Now, slowly inhaling, Bend backward from your lower back as much as possible. Try. Your hip region should not move forward. Keep your legs straight without bending your knees. Tilt your neck backwards as much possible and hold this position for some time. Then while exhaling, come back. To the straight standing position and take deep long breaths. Let's repeat it once again. Inhale and support your back by your hands. Then bend backwards as much possible and hold till your body allows comfortably. Then slowly exhaling come back to the straight standing position and take two to three deep long breaths. Next, we move to Kati Shakti Vyayam, next part. Stand straight with feet together and hands by your side with spine straight. Now keeping your right arm straight, fingers joined together Raise your hand while inhaling over to your head without rotating it in between. Your palm should be facing outside and your arm should not touch your ear. Then bend slowly towards your left from your navel, keeping your arm straight without bending your elbow or touching your ear. Hold this position for some time. If you are comfortable with holding after inhale, then you can do. Otherwise, you can breathe normally. Come back, bring your hand down, take deep long breath and relax. Now repeat the same procedure with your left hand, keeping your arm straight without bending your elbow or rotating your hand. Your palm should be outside. Now bend towards your right, keeping your arm straight. Your elbow should not bend and your arm should not touch your ear. Feel the stretch and compression at the either sides of your back, it is strengthening and rejuvenating your back and spinal nerves. Hold this position till you feel comfortable. Then come back to the standing position. Take deep long breaths and relax. Let us again. Repeat the whole procedure once again, raising your right hand, 
straight over to your head with your palm facing outside then bend towards your left from your navel region keeping your arms straight hold this position till your body allows and feel the stretch and compression that your back is undergoing while performing the swayam feel it and enjoy then come back to the standing position take deep long breath and relax then again breathing normally raise your left arm over to your head and bend towards your right keeping your left arm straight and palm facing out feel the stretch and compression that your lower back is facing at either sides after holding come back to the standing position bring down your hand take deep long breaths and relax now we will do some yoga sir first of all we will do ardha chandrasan the half moon pose if you have hernia peptic ulcer or slip disc then please do not perform this asana stand straight with feet together and hands by your side now keeping your fingers together join place your hands over your lower back for support then breathing normally bend your upper body from navel backwards as much as possible lowering your neck gradually and focusing at a fixed point above for stability breathe normally throughout and feel the compression your spine is undergoing after holding come back slowly to the normal standing position stand straight and take 2 to 3 deep long breaths this ardha chandrasan is very beneficial in increasing the flexibility of your spine the proper and regular practice of this asan also eradicates your posture problems let us repeat it once again first of all place your hands for support over your lower back then while breathing normally bend from upper part of navel backwards as much as possible and hold the posture comfortably till your body allows after that come back to the normal standing position take 2 to 3 deep long breaths and relax you have to keep your feet together and the fingers should be joined these are the main points of this asan which gives this asan its major impact so this was ardha chandrasan to increase the flexibility of your spine and spinal nerves now we will do sitting pose yoga san to begin with we will do marjari asan cat stretch pose if you have hernia knee pain or slip disc then please do not perform this asan you have to breathe normally throughout the asan sit in a comfortable posture with your bent knees or vajrasan then stand on your knees and place your feet at shoulder apart distance now bending forward place your hands just below your shoulders with your arms straight without bending your elbows your fingers should be joined 
Now, arch your back downwards as much possible and raise your head up, lowering your back of the neck. You can keep your eyes either closed or open as you feel comfortable and hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or your body limit. You have to breathe normally throughout. After holding, now arch your back upwards. Earlier your back was like this, now it is like this. Pull in your abdomen, arch your back above and loosen your neck. Breathe normally throughout and feel your spine initially was under compression now it is stretching or expanding and your muscles are toned up in the process hold this position as per your body limit then arch back your spine towards ground your knees should be making 90 degree angles your Feet should be pointed backwards, your fingers together, your shoulder blades should not move forward, they should be straight. Now feel the pressure over your back and your neck muscles. Hold this position again till you feel comfortable, then arch again your back upwards and lower your head. Again, feel your spine has come from compression to expansion. So your whole skull, your spinal nerves, your spinal cord are undergoing compression and expansion. This synchronization of stretching and compressing makes your spine more flexible and eradicates your back pain trouble. If you have back pain problem, you can do this asana initially with a slow speed and lesser hold time. Now coming back to the sitting Vajrasan position, take two to three deep long breaths and relax. Now feel your spinal muscles have gone through the stretch and expansion. This asan makes your spine very flexible. It eradicates your posture problems. After a gap, let's repeat it once again. Stand on your knees. Now place your feet at shoulder apart distance. Then bend forward while placing your hands just below your shoulders. These minute details give the impact to this asan and enhances the effect of compression and stretching that are being caused while performing this asan. Your knee should be at 90 degree angle. This pose, this pose you are shown here. If you are unable to achieve it by your own, then you can do this asan while facing a mirror to correct yourself. Now arch your back and raise your head up and feel the compression in your back. You have to breathe normally throughout the asan. Hold this position till you feel comfortable. Then arch your back upwards and lower down your head freely. Let's again arch down. You must have sometimes seen a cat stretching like this. And as you know, its spine is very flexible. Please arch up. That is why this is called Marjorie Asan, the cat stretch pose. 
Now come back to Vajrasan. Take deep long breaths and relax. Regular and proper practice of this asan not only makes your spine flexible but also alleviates your spine related problems. So you can do it yourself and feel the beauty of this Marjari Asan. Finally, in the line, we will be performing a very relaxing asan called Spinal Twist Pose or Markat Asan. Do not perform this asan if you have slipped disc or hernia. First of all, lie down on your back with hands by your sides. Now stretch your arms along shoulder line with palms facing down. Then bend and turn both your legs towards left. Then turn your face towards right and try to touch the ground with the sides of your legs and hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or as per your body comfort level. Then we will repeat the same procedure by turning both the legs towards right side and head towards left side. Again, hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds or till you feel comfortable. You have to breathe normally throughout the asan. After holding, come back to the normal lying position. Few deep long breaths and relax. Let us repeat this asan. Once again, please start. This asan you can perform at any time of the day and especially if you do this before retiring to bed. It do wonders in making your sleep sound and deep. This asan is very beneficial in making your spine flexible, in elevating your posture problems and it also eradicates your low back pain problem. If you do this just before going to bed every day, then you will feel fresh, refreshing, rejuvenated when you wake up in the morning. It gives you a very fresh feel because after performing this asana, your muscles are stretched and relaxed and you get a very deep sound sleep without any back pain. That is why it is very relaxing asana and can be done whenever you feel low in energy or stressed out. So this was Markat Asan, the spinal twist pose. You have seen the power of yoga that it can do wonders in your life. You must have felt yourself while performing the yoga sun. Now we will close this therapy session with a prayer. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashrit Dugbhag Bhave Om Shantihi Shantihi Shantihi